Did you know that you could blur faces or track objects all from the comfort of your very own YouTube studio? That's what we talk about today. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, your YouTube certified expert. And if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, you should click subscribe start creating. Now it's 2019 and new year means new life, new YouTube look, new set. But it also means a few old features that you may not have seen in the old classic mode have finally been brought into the new YouTube studio. In fact, you can blur faces, track faces, blur objects. So should you need to hide things, should you be doing an unboxing and accidentally have your address, or you don't have permission of random people that walk through your videos, you can blur their faces and not worry about losing footage. It's quite easy to do, so why don't we go to the computer. Okay, so this is the new YouTube studio. On the left hand side, there's a tab that says videos and it will load you into this screen. This is where it lists all of your video content. No doubt you've seen it before. In this case, we're going to use this one as a dummy. So you click the title. This is where you'd normally add your title, your descriptions, your tags, your thumbnails, you add it to playlists, but we're focusing on the editor. It's a nice new black layout. And if we're adding blur, we go down to the bottom, scroll the little bar down, and you'll see add blur. At this point, you may be warned that you need to update your flash. That's perfectly fine. But you jump to what looks like a little bit of classic mode. Now, you're blurring either faces or custom blurring. If you're blurring faces, it will be specific faces. If you're choosing to track something that's moving across the screen, you'll use the custom blurring. For custom blurring, you simply click edit, you go to the point where you want to blur something. So let's jump to the middle of the video and then you click pause. Then you select something in the video that you wish to blur. So let's say I want to blur out this section of the video. So for example, I accidentally put an address there, for example, I can then highlight that area. It will then scan through the video so it then knows that what it is blurring before and what it's blurring after. Once it's been done, you'll see that it pops up here, lock or unlock. You can lock it so it doesn't move anywhere and then there you go that's your little custom square done so once again if you've accidentally put your address on the screen or a phone number you can use the custom blur tool so here you can see the square has been blurred it locks it as well so it will track it no matter how i zoom in and zoom out it will track that specific square there you go so i've jumped around a bit there but it still stayed locked on that square you're using blur faces click edit it will then process your video it will have a look it will find faces for you it can take a little bit of time so you can click process and then go elsewhere so after it's processed a little while it identifies the faces in the videos and it also tells you the timeline of those faces in that video so if i want to blur my face i select me it then goes through the video and applies a blur to my face look at that like a giant thumb smear print and if you click play you'll see what it does it traces and tracks my face now it's like i'm christian cage in the wwe if you get that reference i love you it finds you it tracks your face and it makes sure that you can be removed now as you saw there was parts in the intro where it kind of blurs indiscriminately it goes over graphics and stuff so it's not perfect but if you want a quick removal of someone from your video then there you go that's how you add your very own custom blur and blur out individual faces you click save and you are done so that's how you can blur faces and objects in the new YouTube studio. For more YouTube tricks and tips and features within the new YouTube studio, I've done a wonderful playlist up here. Remember to hit subscribe for more YouTube tricks and tip tutorials. And of course, hit the notification icon so you're alerted every time I go live. Go out there, start creating.